The iPod Touch was first released 10 years ago today. This is a video about the history of the iPod Touch. The original iPod Touch was released on September 5th, 2007, and it was mostly based off of the iPhone 2G. It was the second device after the iPhone to come with a multi-touch display. And it actually came with the same multi-touch display, although it does look different on camera because they are at different brightnesses. They both come with 320 by 480 resolution, a TNTFT display technology, a 163 pixels per inch pixel density, a 3.5 inch screen size, of course, 3 to 2 aspect ratio, it, and they ha came with 18-bit color. And the iPhone did support automatic brightness, with the, which the iPod did not, though. The iPod also had the same processor as the iPhone 2G, uh, which was a Samsung processor at, at 600 megahertz, which was underclocked to 412 megahertz. And it even had a similar design in terms of where the um, charging port was right at the same part although it did have the headphone jack at the bottom instead of at the top as well as having the um the sleep wake button on the opposite side although it was still on the top like the iphone 3g although it did have some key differences it had this plastic bezel around the display stainless steel on the back which was prone to fingerprints and scratches of course and it had this um wi-fi antenna right here which was made out of plastic the iphone also had the plastic antenna design but it was much bigger and aluminum on the back the first generation ipod touch had no camera the uh and the battery was only 580 milliamp hours for 22 hours of music and 5 hours of video. The first generation iPod Touch did not have a built-in speaker. Instead, it had a um, monophonic piezoelectric buzzer, which could only make clicks like these and beeps. But it could not play music or sound from apps. It also did not have Bluetooth. The iPod Touch first generation cost $299 for the 8GB model, $399 for the 16GB model, and later $499 for the 32GB um, model. The iPod Touch second generation came out on September 9, 2008. And it came with a lower price of 229 for the 8 gigabyte model, 299 for the 16 gigabyte model, and 399 for the 32 gigabyte model. And it also had a a redesign. It got rid of the plastic on the front, and it now has the stainless steel curving from the back onto the front, and going around the display in place of the plastic. It had a larger and re-engineered home button to be more like the iPhone, but the main change was in was that it was much more rounded than the one on the iPod Touch first generation, and it made it look a lot thinner, even though it was actually 8.5 millimeters thick instead of 8 millimeters thick like the iPod Touch first generation. It did look a lot thinner due to the more curved design. The um the antenna was also moved from here to here. The main addition of the iPod Touch second generation is the speaker, which can now play music instead of just making basic clicks and beeps. It wasn't very good sound quality because the iPod Touch was very thin. It does not have a um opening for the speaker. And of course, this was um from two thousand eight. It also has, it also now has volume controls to, so that you can control that new speaker that has built in, as well as Bluetooth two point one plus EDR, so that you can use Bluetooth headphones with it instead of just using the um headphone jack. The um, the iPod Touch 2nd generation now had a microphone input, but it did not have a built-in microphone, 
So you cannot make voice recordings directly from the device, but you could attach a pair of headphones that had a built-in microphone. The um, processor now ran at a higher clock speed of 533 MHz. It was the same 600 MHz underclock processor. It also came with a larger battery with of 730 milliamp hours instead of 580, and it had much better battery life. 36 hours of music and 6 hours of video. The iPod Touch second generation was the first iPod Touch to come with the um, Genius Playlist feature as well as Nike Plus iPod. The iPod Touch third generation looks the same as the second generation, although this one is in a mirror screen protector. It has a noticeably better display than the second generation with color dithering. It, so that it has a wider color gamut and it also has a slightly larger battery but lower battery life. The main change from the iPod Touch second generation to the third generation is the speed. While the iPod Touch second generation has a 600 megahertz processor underclocked to 533 megahertz and 128 gigabytes of RAM, the iPod Touch 3rd generation has a 800 MHz processor underclocked to 600 MHz and 256 megabytes of RAM. It also adds support for the new Open for the OpenGL ES 2.0 standard for gaming. The iPod Touch 3rd generation has up to a 50% performance increase and as a result has some extra software capabilities that the 2nd generation never got such as the ability to set a wallpaper, as well as multitasking. The third generation iPod also adds voice control and voiceover. A Touch fourth generation was released on September 1st, 2010 in 832 or 64 gigabytes of storage. The fourth generation iPod Touch brought back the more square design of the first generation, but it was now thinner at 7.3 millimeters instead of 8.5 millimeters like the third generation and second generation. It also switched the side of the um, of the sleep weight button to the same side that was on the iPhone. It has true 24 bit color. It has an 800 to 1 instead of 200 to 1 contrast ratio. And of course the biggest change is the New resolution, four times as many pixels as on the third generation and below, also 326 ppi instead of 163 ppi. The new resolution is 640 by 960 instead of 320 by 480 and is a very noticeable difference when looking at them side by side. Colors on the iPod Touch 4th generation look a lot better. The display also looks much sharper than on the 3rd generation. The iPod Touch 4th generation was the first iPod Touch to support 802.11 and Wi-Fi. The iPod Touch 4th generation was the first one to come with a camera. Although it was not a very high quality camera, it was only 0.7 megapixels. It had no autofocus or LED flash. It had a lot of noise, of course. And it had an f1 and f2.8 aperture, only 480p video recording. And the front facing camera was a VGA camera like the one on the iPhone 4, the FaceTime camera. The iPod Touch 4th generation also came with a faster processor than the 3rd generation. It was 800 megahertz now. And it came with a larger battery of 960 milliamp hours. Audio was back up to 40 hours and video was at 7 hours. It also added some built-in sensors that were not included in the third generation. It added a 3-axis accelerometer, a gyroscope, and an ambient light sensor for auto brightness. On October 12, 2011, Apple released a white version of the iPod Touch 4th generation. On October 11, 2012, Apple released the fifth generation iPod Touch. It came with a new design. It used aluminum instead of stainless steel for the first time. The iPod Touch sixth generation was even lighter than the fourth generation at 88 grams. And it also had the new widescreen four inch display.
with smaller bezels. The iPod Touch 5th generation was the um, first iPod Touch to come with an IPS display. It also came with a larger 4 inch than the 3.5 inch display in the, la in the previous one. The original release only had a 32 and 64 gigabyte storage capacity. The iPod Touch 5th generation was the first iPod Touch to use the lightning connector as well as to have Siri support. The iPod Touch 5th generation came with Apple's new revised EarPods and it also came with Bluetooth 4.0 instead of Bluetooth 2.1. 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band instead of just the 2.4 gigahertz. Option. Fifth generation had a protruding camera, but it was also much higher quality than the iPod Touch fourth generation. A 5 megapixel camera with 1080p video recording. It had an f2.4 instead of f2.8 aperture, a backside illumination sensor, a sapphire lens cover, but the biggest changes were the inclusion of autofocus and the LED flash, which were not in the original iPod Touch. And it was also much higher quality on the front. It had a 1.2 megapixel camera instead of a 0.3 megapixel, and it was also capable of recording 720p video. The iPod Touch 5th generation now had a 1 gigahertz dual core processor underclocked to 800 megahertz. It had 512 megabytes of RAM. The battery was 1,030 milliamp hours instead of 930 milliamp hours. And it had 8 hours of video battery life instead of 7 hours, but the same 40 hours of audio. The iPod Touch 5th generation came in many different colors. It came in black, silver, pink, yellow, blue, and product red. It also had an iPod Touch loop on the back, which was a button that you could press to attach a wrist strap. L later, Apple released the iPod Touch 5th generation in a 16 gigabyte co storage capacity without a camera or the iPod Touch loop, and it also only came in the silver color. It was released on May 30th, 2013, but then on June 26th, 2014, it was replaced with a regular 16 gigabyte iPod Touch. On July 5th, 2015, the iPod Touch 6th generation was released, which is the newest one, to replace the 5th generation. The 6th generation had the same design as the 5th generation, and it also had the same display. The, although the camera was very different, it now had an 8 megapixel resolution, and the ability to record in slow motion and burst, and some other quality enhancements. The front-facing camera was also updated to include burst photography. The processor was a major upgrade from the 5th to the 6th generation, from an Apple A5 to an Apple A8. The Apple A8 in the 6th generation was capable of 6 times the speed of the Apple A5 in the 5th generation, even though it was underclocked. It was a 1.4 gigahertz processor underclocked to 1.1 gigahertz. And it was also a 64-bit processor instead of a 32-bit like the one on the iPod Touch 5th generation. It also includes a quad-core GPU instead of dual-core with a clock speed of 450 megahertz instead of 200 megahertz. The iPod Touch 6th generation has Bluetooth 4.1 instead of Bluetooth 4.0. It also includes Wi-Fi 802.11ac. The RAM has also been updated from 512 megabytes of LPDDR2 RAM to 1 gigabyte of LPDDR3 RAM. The iPod Touch 6th generation came with a 1,043 milliamp hour battery instead of 1,030 milliamp hours, but it pretty much had the same battery life as the iPod Touch 5th generation. The iPod Touch 6th generation also had an online exclusive 128 gigabyte variant. On July 27th, 2017, Apple discontinued the 16 and 64 gigabyte iPod Touch and they kept only the 32 and 128 gigabyte options. 32 gigabyte had its price lowered from 249 to $199, and the 128 gigabyte had its price lowered from 399 to $299. It was also made the only iPod available with the discontinuation of the iPod Nano and iPod Shuffle. Check in the description for extra things not mentioned in this video.